Hello and welcome back for the outdoorsy portion of Explore Tulsa. And for Stevie, heaven means having a controller in his hands. Yep, whether it's a TV remote, a drone, or RC vehicle, it's all about control and speed. Ooh, which explains how you've wrecked several of each. So to help Stevie out, we decided to meet up with RCCrawler.com's Charles Daniel in Disney, Oklahoma. When we started, we built our trucks from scratch. They weren't the crawlers, they were just little trucks. We built the axle special for them, we built chassis for them. I started in probably 30, 35 years old. Uh, you know, it was, it was something to get me out of the house and, and, and go and do. Companies like Axial and uh, birds and they all saw this and they saw an attraction so they wanted to jump on board. Now people can actually go out and buy a ready to run rock haul, a radio truck, the whole shoot match. We gave him a battery charger and he's ready to rock and roll. The kids we get involved in at an early age and we figure if they're building on something and they're doing something constructive, they're, we have something to guide them with. Uh, for instance, they're not going to be out causing trouble because we're going to take their RC car away from them. When you get a small, chick, small kid and you give him an RC car and he takes it out and plays with it in the yard, it don't take him very long to figure out this is not a lot of fun. There's not a lot of things for him to do. So you get him involved in fixing this truck and working on this truck. And then if he shows interest in that, then you take him out to a local event and let him see how it's done and see if he's interested in it. And if you can really get the kids interested in it, we're passing this on to the next generation. If you got an RC cars and you're into building them, you don't have no real time to go out and work on a real truck. And basically, the reason why a lot of us are working on the little trucks is because we don't have a big old shop and facilities to work on full-size vehicles. There's three different classes. Uh, we start out in class one, and this is basically going to be a truck that is ready to run. So it's not going to have a whole lot of frills. It, it's a starter, okay? You, you don't want to bring somebody out and put them in a class three rig right off the bat because the skill level with each truck keeps climbing. The class one truck, the tires have to be inside the body of the truck. Uh, the class two truck, I use smaller tires just like the class one, but now we can start opening up them fender wells. We can start point, making a, a pointy nose, give the axle clearance to rock. We can actually get a better angle now. We can actually make a steeper climb. They have what they call a class three. And this class three is where we really make it rough. This is a type of truck that you will see out here running around. So once we get into a class three truck, the, the course is going to be something that a class one or class two could not compete in. So you get a class one truck, you make the courses simple. You let the person finish the course. It gives him a little motivation. RCCcrawler.com will be your ideal spot to find out anything you want to know if there's an event in your area or a club in your area that you would be interested in going out and trying to join them. You know, these guys here will do anything for you. Everybody knows everybody. We all visit with one another. Most of us have each other's personal phone numbers. You know, we all get together from time to time. People are amazed that we, we 
put these trucks in our trucks and drive 1,400 miles to an event. But that's my idea, having fun.